Moment of truth. Can you climb with nanotape? Geckos. The little lizards that can climb vertical walls, glass, and even upside down. But what if I could harness the powers of the gecko? Two creature power discs hot off the MIK. Oh yeah. Cool. Activate, Activate gecko, gecko powers. powers. Hey, how goes it? Ever since I watched the Wild Kratts harness the powers of the gecko when I was in kindergarten, it's been a dream of mine to make real, working gecko gloves. To understand how I'm going to attempt to create gecko gloves, we first need to understand how gecko's feet work. Between two neutral atoms or molecules, in close proximity, there exists a force of attraction. This is because the protons in the nucleus of one atom attract the electrons of the other. Opposites attract. This force between the atoms is called van der Waals force. The force created from this is not very strong on its own, but when you have lots of points of contact next to each other, it can be strong enough to hold up a gecko. But why don't I stick to glass every time I touch it, you may be asking yourself. Well, the reason is because your skin's so bumpy, there's very, very few points of contact between your skin and any surface you touch, which is why we're not always sticking to anything that's smooth. This force can be seen in incredibly smooth objects. Gecko's feet are covered in hundreds of millions of tiny hairs called CD, which are on the scale of nanometers, one billionth of a meter. Each of these CD are formed from a branching structure that ends with small flattened edges called spatulae, which flatten out from different directions to bond with objects. This is what gives geckos all the points of contact they need to make use of van der Waals force. These CD have exponentially more surface contact than something like human skin, and can make use of this van der Waals force in a meaningful way. They can hold incredible forces. The toe pad of one gecko alone has been estimated to hold up to 80 times their own body weight, one toe pad. And geckos can hold their own weight with only a fraction of one toe pad. If these pads are so strong, then how can geckos detach them to walk around? Well, toe pads that use van der Waals force are especially effective in shear. This means the force is in the direction parallel to the object, but these forces are especially vulnerable to a rotational force because it can take off one contact point at a time. This is why geckos can easily attach their toes by curling them up from the edges. Gecko's feet remained a mystery up until the late 1990s when the use of the scanning electron microscope became common. But we are still unable to recreate the elaborate branching structure of their CD artificially. This is why I'm not able to have gecko gloves that look like this. Attempts at recreating gecko toe pads as synthetic adhesives can be separated into two categories. Directional adhesives that usually use teeth-like structures and pillar array adhesives, which utilize microscopic pillars, sometimes with a ball or mushroom type structure on top. The best example of one of these directional adhesives is Stanford's Gecko Skin Lab. They've created a silicon-based adhesive that works in one direction. There are microscopic teeth that flatten out to bond with the surface once a shear force is exerted on them in the right direction. It's extremely effective on surfaces like glass or anything else that's approximately smooth. If you want to check out more about Stanford's Gecko Skin Lab and how it works, Veritasium made a video where he visited the lab and looked at the different projects they're working on there. In terms of climbing with gecko adhesive, Elliot Hawks, an engineering student, created a set of gloves using Stanford's gecko skin, which could scale glass. His design works by having small panels on each hand that are pressed to the glass, and then the weight of the person is placed on that side with a foot support. Then the opposing hand is moved up and the process is repeated. This is very, very impressive use of this directional technology, but it's pretty limiting about where you can climb and how you can climb. You can only really climb slowly, 
vertically on a glass-like surface. The type of synthetic that I will be working with is commercially available Gecko, or as it's also known, Nano Tape. This tape utilizes pillar ray adhesives, tiny little structures, this one with balls on top, that can use van der Waals forces just like the geckos. Unfortunately, we're not able to create artificial structures nearly as small or complex as the geckos, which means the bond created are not nearly as strong. For example, the adhesion coefficient of actual geckos feet are about 8 to 16, whereas the adhesion coefficient of artificially created uh, pillar array nanotape like what I'll be using, is only about 0.06. That is an absolutely massive difference. My goal is to create a set of panel type gloves that will eliminate the use for handholds on a rock climbing wall. I'm still going to use the footholds on the wall. I'm just going to try and replace the handholds. So I've got the materials I'm gonna to use to build the gloves. The design for the gloves is we've got a acrylic 12 by 12 and a handle it's gonna go on the top they've got tape on them right now that's why they're not clear it will be and we've got epoxy to mount the to mount the handle really strong and then we've got gecko tape and so this is going to be covering the entire side, and the idea is it's going to have a lot of grip for it. I'm a little worried it'll have too much. The idea is we've got these centered and top. When you're pulling down, you've got the shear force, but to get that rotational, all you have to do is pull away from the wall. Because it's at the top, it'll pull it away from the wall. That's the goal, that's the design. So we'll see if that works, but I'm going to start building them. It's epoxy time. Generous helping for you, sir. I don't talk to the things when I'm working. That would be weird. This is partially cured. It's not all the way done yet because I can still indent it with a fingernail so I wouldn't put weight on it, but it's good enough to take off the backing and to put the tape on the other side, I guess. And just smooth it down so it's got mess with this handle see if it we're back in the garage and I have a plan I'm gonna put more tape on and I'm gonna leave the last the last edge of the panel bare and then we're gonna throw in the laser cutter and cut holes for our handles so I've got the design mocked up in the um, laser cutting at because we're going to do this on a laser cutter because first off I don't know how to drill holes and second we don't have a working screwdriver um so these they're getting precision cut on uh, my laser cutter all right let's see it funny story it didn't cut all the way through That time it didn't go through, I decided to tell it's thick acrylic, so hopefully it goes through this time. Go. Somehow that didn't like go through at all. I won't focus, but it didn't go through. And I don't know why. So I guess I'm just gonna blast it with the laser on full. So after all that, I finally got one hole through. Um, but the screws are too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten the screws so that the handles will lie flush. To get through that so It looks like everything's a go. Let's screw this in and make sure. That is solid. Moment of truth. Can you climb with nanotape? Hey, it's me, the Merch Man. 
Who? The merch man, you know me. Well, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of some- Shut up! This channel isn't nearly big enough to get AdSense or sponsors, so here I am. Look at this cool watercolor art on tote bags. Ooh, those are nice. Yeah, right? And look at this design I made. Hey, I, I made that. Beside the point, it's available as a t-shirt in two different fabrics. Long sleeve and a sweatshirt. If you want to support the channel, consider picking something out. Oh, okay, bye. Are we, are we doing the video now? We're, okay. When I felt it stick to the wall, I knew this had some potential. After one false stick, I was in business. Or at least that's what I thought. You see, it turns out that after doing it once, it had been covered in chalk and lost all of its stick, leaving me unable to stick it again. With my panels being unable to use, it was time to test my plan B. You see, I had a couple concerns about the panel gloves, so I decided it would be a good idea to take my belay gloves and put some nanotape on them as a second chance at getting this to work. But unfortunately, after sticking them one time, they immediately lost their stick and started sliding around. I don't know what caused these gloves to lose their stick so immediately and take in so much chalk dust, but it was certainly not good. One of the coolest things about this material though is when you have particles on it that are making it not sticky, all you have to do is run it underwater and because there's no wet adhesive, the water literally just removes the particles and when it dries, it becomes sticky again. But for some reason, the gloves never got sticky again. I have no idea what happened, but they certainly didn't work. But it was time to try the panels again. For the best chance at this working, I picked out a super easy climb with super good footholds on a sloped, flat wall. So I wasn't having all of my weight on these because I wanted to get this to work in some form or another. With the first panel stuck, it was time to see what I could do. After I had some trouble finding the next spot on the wall for the panel, I was able to get a good stick. But only for a second because that panel stopped working. So I just had to ditch it and try to finish the climb with one panel. With my next position stuck on, there was no backing down. I used my hand as a support just on the flat wall just so I could get some more balance. This was it. This was the moment that I'd been working towards. Would I be able to get to the top of the wall? Would gecko gloves ever be something that someone would have? Is this the future? And with one last move, I put my hands on the top of the wall. And I knew that although I faced so many challenges, this was something doable. It was possible to climb walls with gecko gloves. And with more advancements in the world of gecko-inspired adhesives, this could be the future. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely the biggest obstacle I ran into with this video was the chalk that coated pretty much everything in the entire climbing gym. But I just don't have the resources yet to build something like a testing rig. If you liked this video, consider sharing it with some friends. And if you want to see more cool stuff like this, consider liking and subscribing. Goodbye and thank you for watching.